Lene and welcome back to my channel. Today on Married Life Monday, we are talking about intimacy outside of the bedroom. Yes, it is a such thing as intimacy outside of the bedroom. Listen, if you get close outside the bedroom, baby, you'll be even closer when you get in the bedroom. So I have five tips, okay, just five. If y'all want any more, honey, you're going to have to email me because I ain't got all day. Ain't nobody got that kind of time, okay? But I'm going to give you my five, and then we'll talk later about the rest of it, okay? All right, tip number one, write each other love notes. Okay, so y'all remember when we was in elementary school, you know, we would always, if a girl liked a boy, if a boy liked a girl, we will write them a note like, I like you, do you like me, circle yes or no. Okay, so just imagine if you got a note like that from your significant other, okay? And you've been with them for a while, and you think you know them, honey. You think you got them. You think, you know, you got them all figured out. And then you get you a little note that says, hey, would you like to go to dinner with me? Circle yes or no. Don't tell me you wouldn't feel some kind of way about that, honey. But anyway, so love notes. And the notes have to be non-sexual, okay? We are promoting intimacy outside of the bedroom. So you have to let your significant other feel wanted and needed in a non-sexual way. Nobody wants to feel like a sex toy, okay? You know, sometimes you want to feel like somebody wants you for who you are and not for what you can do, all right? All right, tip number two, surprises. Now, we all like surprises, especially us ladies. Now, a whole lot of men I don't know, okay? I'm not a man. But us ladies, we like surprises. Surprises can be candy, your favorite food, your favorite whatever. I don't know, honey. Whatever you like to be surprised with, your favorite book, um, a hotel room for some alone time away from the children, whatever. Surprises will always make you feel wanted. Surprises always make you feel good and it makes you feel special, right? So that's tip number two. Surprise your spouse. And, and, and men too, women, you have to surprise your husbands, okay? I seen something on Facebook one time where a wife left some money on the nightstand and said, hey, have a haircut on me. Okay, that's really nice. That's a nice surprise, okay? But we got to think beyond that because, you know, everybody's husbands is different, okay? So, you know, you know your spouse. Do what you need to do to make them feel special, okay? So... First, love notes. Two, surprises. Three, communication. Now, let me tell you how communication can help you be intimate outside of the bedroom, okay? Create conversation about things you both have interest in. Create conversation about things you both can laugh about. Create conversation about your children and what they're doing and how it makes you guys feel and how it brings you closer together and then also another way that communication can bring um intimacy into the relationship is if you feel valued i always ask my husband what he feel about certain things get his ideas about it just to let him know that he's his opinion matters um, his views matter and I value his input on my business or whatever it is that I'm doing and a lot of times when people feel seen heard and valued honey you done made it in honey you done you done walk right through the door they didn't open it up and let you in okay <laughs> so yeah come uh communication I'm sorry Communication can definitely bring intimacy into your relationship, okay? Tip number four, unexpected touch, touching, okay? Okay, let me tell you something. I hated that in the beginning, but the unexpected attention is what makes me feel wanted. It's what makes me feel good. It's what makes me feel special. But my husband, y'all, pray for me. I could be washing dishes. I could be cooking food. 
I could be focusing. I could be whatever I'm focusing on. I could be focused on it. And then here he come touching me. Now it's a little frustrating because I'm busy. Okay. And I don't want you touching me right now. But the thought of the unexpected attention made me feel amazing. Made me feel wanted. Made me feel great about my relationship with my husband. Even though at that very point, I was very annoyed. And I felt like he was bugging me. Something deep down inside of me just felt so special. So, unexpected touching. You know, a lot of people like to be touched. I know I do. But, you know, sometimes when you're busy, it can seem a little frustrating. But, you know, you got to think beyond it. And the thought of him thinking about me or the thought of him wanting to give me some attention randomly just made me feel good. Okay? All right. Last but not least, cuddling. Now, y'all know cuddling leads to sex, but I'm not talking about that kind of cuddling, okay? I'm talking about maybe sitting in front of the television watching your favorite movie, even with the kids in the room. You know, sometimes when you touching, but you ain't touching, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel valued. It makes you feel close. It makes you feel like you're a family. It makes you feel like, you know, we can do this, but we don't have to do this. But we can do this later. <laughs> but anyway, so cuddling can definitely bring intimacy because there's no expectation there. Like you can just hold me and you're not expecting me to do anything. And I can just hold you and not expecting you to do anything. So, intimacy. And those are just five points. It's so many ways. Like, so many. I just wanted to give y'all five. But it's so many things that you can do to bring intimacy into your relationship outside of the bedroom. You know, you don't only have to be intimate physically, okay? Uh, rolling around in the bed. But you can be intimate in every way. I mean... Seen, I heard this from uh, this sexologist, Shamira. She's on um, Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and insert her Instagram name. It's uh, sexologist Shamira. Okay. And she said that intimacy is basically just being seen, heard, and valued. And that made so much sense to me. So I do want to give her her credit for that because it makes so much sense, y'all. All right, so remember that, okay? I don't have anything else today, all right? This is Mary Life Monday, and I want you guys to be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not done that already, all right? And for those of you who want to see more of Mary Life Monday, you can go ahead and click the description, the link, I'm sorry, in the description box for the playlist and also we started a new facebook group called the bed of marriage the link to that facebook group will be in the description box so please come over and join us we get a lot deeper into the things that i talk about in my videos we will go a lot deeper we can answer your questions we can talk on a personal level so join us in our facebook group the bed of marriage like i said the link will be in the description all right all right, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye.